welcome back to New Show Plus. Uh, today, we're kicking off a brand new series called Is It Good? Many games are, some say good, some say bad, and we're tired of that. We want to figure out for sure which one it is. Uh, I'm Leo Vader, we've got Janet Garcia on the sticks. Yo! And Jeff Marchiafava here for Color Commentary. Excited to be here, folks. I'm really excited That's to- all I got. Get the chat to weigh in here. I'm going to be running yes. Twitch polls and stuff to figure out just where we're landing on this uh, Mario filled title. Thanks, it my champ for the big sub. That says it's better than Galaxy. Wow, coming in with the hot takes from Wombology Eleven, but they did study the study of Wombology. So who are we to question? That's true. Wow, relevant here. Walking on sunshine. This is the. Um, I will say, if you've never seen this game, you were in for a ride. Because the opening to this game is probably, like, to me, the most iconic start to any Mario game. I don't know. Am I out of pocket for saying that? Are they flying by their own private jet? Yes. Oh, man. Environmentalists aren't going to like that. There's, yeah. there's so much Welcome. to say Welcome. in the way of environmentalism. <laughs> um, <laughs> Policing, um, the prison system. There's this is like the no most wow. socially conscious Mario game. So it has a message. It does. It it has. Mm, it gestures its messages, but okay. It's the most we'll um, I think story filled, in some ways. And Mario filled. Freaky. But he's too focused on the food. Yeah, he's mesmerized. I like the idea of it gluttony. of it being their private jet and they're still like watching plane film? <laughs> like airport film? Well you want that thrill. It's part of the experience. It's like watching um you know Shark Tank at the hotel room. It's like, it's just part, like, you know, were you even at a hotel if you didn't watch Shark Tank at 3 in the morning? I don't know. Right. For me, it's the Office reruns. Mm. They're as, always on. As you can see, this is like classic me. It's like, I kind of started it again, you know? It's like, we, we dipped in. We'll, we'll start a new file, but... What are we playing this on? Uh, we were playing this on the Nintendo Switch via the uh, elusive and exclusive Super Mario 3D All-Star Switch. I don't have the case next to me, so I'm like butchering the name. Um, 3D All-Stars Collection, I think, is pretty cool. The close. one that's not for sale anymore. The one that's not for sale anymore, you know? Perfect. I was there, I bought it. I didn't buy a sealed copy, because I don't care about my retirement, so, you know, we're rolling the dice on this one. <laughs> right. And honestly, it looks really good. Like, they didn't really do anything to it. Like, I definitely don't want to say Nintendo did anything to any of these games they sort of ported over. But it's like, so I, um, like, I love the GameCube and I have uh, Eon's GCHD adapter that allows you to play like, um, oh, Rich Bad, thanks for the sub. Um, no, Ben today, maximum cursing, please. You know, we can do whatever. Oh, honestly, I'm pretty sure the alerts are too it's big true. too. We're just living our own life here. <laughs> most concerned with the well-being of the princess in this dreadful heat. Master Mario, if you would, cross over to that shore and find some assistance. Voice acting in a Nintendo game? This game yeah. had it all. Wow. I don't think I've heard this Toad speak before. No. No. Um, and you never will again. Also, I guess I, I should ask too, like, what are y'all's history with Super Mario Sunshine? Oh, very little. Played it at a friend's and thought it was neat as a kid. That's all. I'm not a big Mario guy. I'm here to be the unbiased uh, observer, judge. Mm. I feel like I played a tiny bit of one level randomly, um, and I don't know when or how that happened. <laughs> Maybe some kind of replay Game Informer thing. But And there's a perfectly good chance it was a dream. It, it could be, yes. He was yes. naked. Um, and didn't go. have nipples, I think. So I don't know. That proves it's a dream. Do y'all know about our Lord <laughs> yeah, and Do y'all know about our Lord and Savior Flood? Oh, I'm familiar with this little guy. The 
God, I think he just said the fluid <laughs> something the system. I don't know. It stands for something. Here we go. Not helpful. Remember that for Trivia Tower, y'all. The Fled Ultra... I already forgot it. <laughs> Remember that. Rewind. I didn't know he talked. That's that's news to me. Yeah, um, I love the way he talks, too. I know people... Um, uh, Mocho Joe, thanks for the, the sub. I know... Definitely the voice acting is a criticism of this game. Like, it's not very well done. And, and even me, who... I feel like I never know when acting's done well. Uh, yeah, the voice acting's a little stiff, I think, throughout this game. But I actually really like how Flood talks because he has like that little robotic voice. He's like, Mario, this is so messed up. And it's like so fun. I don't know. Like, it's it's so of an era, I think, to have like a talking companion. You know, I think especially like we just did an episode on Minish Cap um, and the cap like talking to you as well. Like, I don't know. It's a very like one foot in the 90s choice for Nintendo on this game. Yeah. See, it's thanks for the sub. We got a hype train here. I also love how throughout this game they say, do you want to hear this again? I need this in every modern game. Because sometimes I watch a cutscene mm. and I didn't I didn't listen to it. I was checking my phone. That's right. Or I was thinking so much about how I should be listening to it that I wasn't actually listening to it. That's what gets me. Mario. Okay, so this is also Nintendo's salute. God, what? I think I have to... I think I might want to change the controls, but I'll play with it's that inverted. later. Inverted? <sighs> Inverted's the one where when I move the stick up, it goes down, right? Yes. No, I think this one's, I think it's set to normal. Um, but this was like Nintendo's solution to the, um, the not having the, um, the give in the back, like, uh, you know, like the bumpers. Mm -hmm. So like on GameCube, like that was like a big thing where you'd like hold it down more to like, release more water and here it's doesn't really have that um yeah. leeway so they use zr and r to sort of compensate for that aspect to do the half press yeah Interesting. so there's one press like the Z with zr you can still move and with r it's like a full press where you're stationary where then the right is just the camera and the left is the um like moving of the nozzle right yeah, Don't Bash Ash is the same thought I just did. This was original Power Wash Simulator. Honestly, I think that connection. a little bit. Like, it is a lot of cleaning. Um, I'm still waiting for Splatoon to um, do some type of crossover with this game. I feel like it's just Whoa. so obvious. A third team that's just cleaning, not putting any paint on the field at all. Oh, I didn't even think of Yeah, I mean, they have that try battle. Why can't one just be like, I hate everybody, you know? I'm taking everyone's right. account. So how should we go about figuring this out? I kind of want to get a read on where this ranks among other people's uh, favorite Marios, but you can't really do ranked choice voting in Twitch polls yet. So what should our first poll be? Which which Mario is your favorite? Maybe like, did you play Sunshine even? Like just get a temperature check on people's backgrounds. Cause yeah, for I'm, me- I'll go, did you love Sunshine? Do sure. you love Sunshine? For me, um. I, um, oh yeah, here's the, this is the kind of cutscene. Can't talk over this. This is like the wildest thing to happen in a Mario game. Is now in session. As you are no doubt aware, someone has been senselessly defacing Fair Isle Delfino using some paint-like substance. The accused is charged with polluting our beautiful home and yes, endangering our very way of life. Oh. Indeed, how can one not be aware of what is going on? Though it is daytime in Delfino Plaza, our poor residents tremble beneath a veil of darkness. Expert shine scholars have determined that this darkness has arisen because all of our guardians, the shine sprites, have vanished from their gathering spot at the shine gate. The reason? It's quite obvious. This horrible graffiti is to blame. Behold right. the sketch of the perpetrator based on eyewitness descriptions. The truth is obvious. Look like him. The guilty party sits among us. It is none other than Mario. Objection! Overruled. A is she is representing him? Guilty as I guess so. I hereby order the defendant to clean this entire island. Wow, Until what a Mario sham Mario justice system. Mm-hmm. Vile handiwork. Mario shall not be allowed to leave. Court adjourned.
<laughs> You're not normally uh, imprisoned in the setting of a Mario game. This appears to be quite a predicament, Mario. Data analysis verifies that the island's inhabitants are indeed troubled by pollution, but the pollution itself is not the main problem. Mario, you witnessed this object at the airstrip, correct? It is a shine sprite. Shine sprites are the source of power on A shine starry now. They used to er, No, that was Sierra Mess, damn it. The gate, <laughs> but the Graviti incident has polluted the island and most of the shine sprites have fled. There is no longer any power to support the peaceful lifestyle of the islanders. It is most pitiable. Most pitiable indeed. So fancy. The return of the shine sprites is to keep the island from becoming any dirtier. The perpetrator is likely at work even as we speak. And you, Mario, are being treated as a criminal. Tomorrow we must do our best to resolve <coughs> oh, this situation. Allergic to injustice. <laughs> yeah, that was me crying. Uh, our poll, do you love Super Mario Sunshine? About half of voters said big time they love Super Mario Sunshine. And then a third of voters said a little. 20% said not at all. So I also most love people this love one. it. Oh yeah, and if it, I feel like it was kind of implied slash obvious. Uh, I love this game. I played the hell out of this game as a kid. I had a like a staycation like two years ago, um, like before this collection came out. And one thing I did was like I set up like in a very like childlike fashion. Like I set up like a butterfly folding chair, one foot from my TV, and then like hooked <laughs> up the GameCube. And I was just playing Sunshine. Like it was, you know, that that this is how I relax. Um, even though it's That's one beautiful. of the least relaxing games, I think, of 3D Mario. Like some of the platforming gets really hard. The controls are generally really slippery. Um, it's definitely the, I would say, the black sheep of 3D Mario games, and maybe just Mario games in general. I feel like some people hate this even more than that. Uh, what new Super Mario Bros. Whatever, like the one that had the ugly art style. Like this is like probably up there with most hated Mario games, I feel like. And what do people hate about it? That uh, it less being it being less chill? Um, I think the... A lot of things. People don't love how it controls, which to their point, it is mo the most slippery I think Mario has ever been in terms of precision. Um, Pro Boy says there's no long jump. Yeah. Uh, is there... On the hold on, wait. Let me get out of here. Uh, no, I guess not really. You can really. hover instead, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. Cool. Um, some people also hate um, the resource management aspect of like you have you know flood and you have to like fill up the tank with water and you need the water for the platforming. Uh, for me, the thing I hate about this game is the way they have different nozzles, but you have to like physically find a spot that like has the nozzles. Like it's the the switching of the nozzles is really weird. Um, and you can't just do it on the fly? Correct. Like, you only have two- you have two at all times, and one is, like, you always have, like, the gun one. But, like, the hover one, sometimes you switch it for, like, a rocket one. But you have to, like, physically go to the area that has, like, the rocket one, and... Uh, I think the camera is a little- a little rough, too, especially in the modern era. Um... There are platforming sections where you don't have flood that are very hard. Um... Couple other things. So there's, like, definitely some problems with it, I would say, but I really like just that it's so different and like, I enjoy Flood. Like, I just feel like it's one of the most funky experimental of the Mario games. And I like the setting yeah. a lot. I like it for that. And the setting does seem nice. Uh, Dick Grayson says that all the levels look exactly the same though. It's boring. Do you think that's a fair criticism? I don't think so. I mean, I think they all have like an island through line, but I feel like the, um, you know, I don't. Well, I don't know how far we're get in this hour, but you know, my boyfriend was playing it a bit over the weekend, and like the like, kind of like amusement park area, and like I, I feel like there's a vibe to the area. There's also one that's like a shipping dock that kind of has a verticality to it. Um, yeah, I don't necessarily agree that they all look the same, but it definitely is all like that island vibe. And there's a lot of water, and I think in video games, water is like the thing gaming does the worst, and this is like the water Mario game, so. That is bold to build a game around that in this era. Yeah. Yeah, fair amount of love for the atmosphere and the setting in the chat. And the soundtrack. 
Okay, we'll see how this goes. I couldn't goes. believe we heard the song like this, a dark Mario theme in the menu, and I could not believe it was from a Mario game. Okay, I already took way I mean, longer. This is obviously a play on a Mario motif. Oh, he turned around. This always, takes me, this always takes me forever to do, and it was funny watching my boyfriend play it. He did it like in two seconds. And I was like, oh, this is like my whole afternoon, like chasing this guy. Like, I'm just bad at the precision of it. Like, I haven't even hit him. He I hit him like one time. Okay, hold on. Oh. Okay, there we go. There we go. He's you. You should know his every move. Yeah, it would be cool he if he like copied, literally everything. copied you or something. There we go. Now we're getting a little. Uh. There. Okay, this should be maybe it. Oh my gosh. Having to work the camera on my own, it's so tough. No, okay. Here he goes. Let me know in the chat how long this takes you, because this always takes me a really long time to do, and I feel like it's not supposed to. He clearly has no plan. He's just running in circles. Yeah, no, what is it? Kidnapping, grabbing key? Yeah, come on. I know the camera's like super weird, but I can't get a sense of it. Oh. So that's the thing, like, I end up going around, <laughs> I go around the entire island like four or five times. Um, which honestly, I thought I'd be a little better now that I'm not 12, but no, no it's kind of the same. <laughs> You either so, have it or you don't. What I just did, like, the first time you go down, like, that initial kind of hallway area, like, and get to the, the bottom part where he pauses, like, my boyfriend did it in that run. Like, he got here in that one run, and I'm like, I don't understand. Wow. Okay, I, I think, think we still have to go after him. Um, he's heading for the square. Snugglebus says if you jump at him and shotgun blast your water, he instantly drops. Interesting. I'm not gonna lie, I don't have a really firm memory of the move set, and I kind of just sense it out. Um, even doing like some of the more like rigorous platforming se sections, like I kind of forget how, which I think in this game, like Mario has a really dynamic move set. And one thing I like about it too, is that like with those harder platforming sections where you don't have flood, while they are kind of BS level hard, it's kind of cool to have like something that challenging in there. And I know in modern Mario, they do make, they do that a lot with like, the secret dark moon levels and things. And I do think that's the better way to go because it makes the difficulty more optional for players who might not want to engage in it. But what I like about it kind of being in the main campaign is that I actually do it because I'm not doing those dark moon levels. Like I'm just right. not gonna. <laughs> I like this, you can do a little slidey slide. That's fun, cool. always love a slide. I do love a slide. Control. Yeah, I bounced off of Odyssey after beating it, which is a funny thing to say, but it was like, it felt like the campaign was so easy and I would have really appreciate it if there was some more challenge throughout that that core experience. Yeah, one so thing this I, is the Mario for me. One thing I like about this and like kind of earlier I don't I can't speak to Galaxy because I actually have never played Galaxy one or two. Um even though it's in the, the collection I just haven't gotten to it yet. Oh can I try to reach up here? Oh god, it's been like so long since I played this. Um one thing I like too is that the stuff is a little bit more intentional. Like I kinda don't like how many moons there are in Mario Odyssey. It makes it feel like like some of them are just like you you know, sat at a bench, you have a moon, you did this, you yeah. have a moon. Like, it, it, I, I feel I would love to see them a little bit more intentionally designed, um, in Absolutely, a it kind of like devalued moons to have so many like that. Oh god. <laughs> I forgot how to ground pound, so I just opened the map. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I keep opening the map. It's L, and it's just like, one of, for some reason I keep going to it. Okay, so what do we got here? Hitmon Champ says you can do a cool spin jump if you twirl the stick before jumping. Yeah, uh, let's see. Twirl the stick before jumping. No, that's not right. I'm sure- I know what, I know what you're talking about because that's how you open these more easily, but oh. I have to remember how to do it. Um, yeah, I don't think it's harder post-game, but like I'm not going to be around for the post-game. And I know that's on me. Like I could be around. Okay, I kind of got it there. Yeah. Okay, hold wow. on. Let's see. That's is that jump? Um, you don't have to jump. You can just like I twirled it and then I hit hold down the uh, ZR. But you can do a spin jump also. Yeah, I think so. I just don't fully remember how to do it. Got these little buddies. I like how um. I think these are supposed to be like the kids, but they're like just people shrunk down. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that classic trope. Yeah. 
That's okay. kind of how it is. All right, these were these were fake and fake flowers. Decoys. Okay, here we go. Man, he's lasting a long time. Here we go. Here we go. But yeah, it's weird. It's different. You know what's funny? Um, too, my boyfriend was also digging into some original Luigi's Mansion, and he like played a couple of minutes of that. Um, which has, of course, Professor Egad. And then shortly after, he played this, and he's like, Oh, Egad made this! And I was like, you know, I never really thought of the connective lore of... Yeah, that's the machete order of Mario games. You play Luigi's Mansion, and then you play Sunshine. So you can see the full breadth of uh, Egad's inventions. Yeah, which one takes place earlier in the timeline? Oh, I don't... I don't know what the Mario timeline is actually. I don't. Know, I don't know if they've done anything as formal as they have for Zelda or as uh, inaccurate. I feel like only <laughs> yeah. Nintendo could release a deeply flawed timeline of their own games, and people were like, "I mean, okay, I guess." <laughs> yeah, that's that weird combination of like, you know, having the most diehard fans in the world that could fact check you on that easily. They're like, we kind of just made this so you'd stop asking about it. If I'm being honest. <laughs> but we played right into your hand. Yeah, like you were never supposed to really, like, you're supposed to just put it on your coffee table, like, you're not supposed to read it. I honestly remember nothing about the story, but I do remember enjoying the gameplay. Yeah, the story is, like, super funky. I don't know why I keep ground pounding when it's all you have to do is hover like this. Oh. Oh, the depth perception. It'll get you every time. Yeah, that's tough. The tightrope bouncing looks fun. Yeah, and I love a good tightrope. Okay, let me actually try to start getting somewhere because I haven't gotten very far here. I think I can reach... Let me just cut through here for sake of time. Yeah, the hovering really does give you a freedom to explore these levels. Yeah. Eat it. Yeah, yeah, I really like it. I think And I can't get over how Power Watch Simulator it, it yeah. is. Is that satisfying? <laughs> Yeah, it, it's it's really cool to do. I mean, there are parts that, like, I think if I jump ahead even, I can kind of avoid having to clear, like, you don't have to 100% like clear this area because there's um, a gooey piranha plant that will, like, once you kill it, it'll kind of clear things up. I think I have enough water to do this. Okay. Let's see. Then you got the these other little, reason like, this might be my perfect Mario game is because I do like resource management. Oh shoot. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a it's very different. Like, I think the things that I like about it are some of the things that people don't like about it, which I think is fair. It's very strange. Oh my yeah. gosh, there's so many things here. I'm just gonna try to clean this area up so I can walk a little more easily. Okay, let's see. Hey, Munchan likes how Mario gets dirty if you slide in the mud. Yeah. It kind of has like, uh, the mud has like a charm to it too. It's kind of almost food-like, like a weird pudding substance for sure looks like pudding okay, okay. gosh i'm just gonna stand here and take the damage because it's not worth it these are some bullet spongy enemies water spongy i guess Sp i oh just guess just spongy let's see what is it is it would it be r to lock in and then i have to move. okay here we go that that takes a second Okay, it's gotta be when his mouth is open, which is... Okay. Okay, that's another one. Yeah, it's not exactly threes, it's like level of damage for these. There we go. Oh, it's pretty close to threes. I feel like that was three. And then now it'll kind of clear up like a bu I think all the area or a bunch of the area? Like, I have to check back if like the area before this has gotten cleaned. Yeah, wow. Pristine. And I feel like this is like a, a decent mix. One thing I, uh, let, me, let me make sure it does this because one thing that I don't like about this game that they've, you know, like if we're thinking about the comparison of um, Odyssey is I'm pretty sure they do pull you out of the levels though as you get the shines, which I think is kind of annoying. Like I would like if it was a little bit more interconnected. And part of that is because for some of the levels they do change part of the level design. Like they add in things or remove things or open up things, but um, I feel like you could easily, I don't know, put that behind like a lo like a load screen where I'm still in the level or giving the option to stay in there because coming back in and out is kind of annoying to me. 
Yeah, it's, it seems like they're trying to tell you to not spend too much time in the level with that. Yeah, it feels like it has a little bit less of like, um, it does have, I believe, and, and check and fact check me if I'm wrong because it's been a long time, but I believe you can technically get these like out of order, but because they kind of get you in certain spots, it's not as free as I think even in a sense like 64 might be, um, to me at least, like playing it. Again, I keep opening the map. L is basically not for anything. I need to stop pressing L. Okay, here we go. Oh, L is map? Yeah. Yeah, it's, I can see the <laughs> what's been happening. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not just hitting start over and over again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as it may seem. Let's see if I can get to this higher one, because I've been struggling to get up there. Ooh, let's see. Yay. Oh, no! No! Does this game come around on graffiti, or is it still a... Uh, it is, unfortunately, an anti-graffiti. It's definitely a... Um, it, it's giving, like, a... I don't know, socially conscious but fiscally liberal. There's some weird layers here <laughs> in this game politically. But yeah, it, it is an anti-graffiti game. Um, which, speaking of which, too... I kind of so want to... kind of a counter to Mark Echo's getting up, which was also big at the time. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, they're really in conversation with each other. They really are. Okay, I'm kind of starting to get in the flow of the R versus the... versus the uh, ZR. Yeah, Super, Super Mario's getting down. Right? So from what you guys have seen, where do you land on the good game, bad game? It's kind of tough because I feel like it, is, it very much is contingent on feel, like, and if you like how it moves. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's true. I've liked everything that I can see. I can I can tell that the aiming the water seems like the one kind of sticking point. Yeah. That might be um, but otherwise, it's it's cool to have a Mario game with so many different mechanics than what you usually associate with Mario. Yeah, and Drill Blaisdell said, I do wonder why they added the water pack, though. Why did they think this was the natural evolution of Mario? <laughs> that, to me, is definitely a, a plus. It being such a weirdo out there option uh, gets me excited for sure. And I'm all about the setting in a game. That's one of the most important things for me, to be honest. And this game has a setting I want to be in. I don't know if I can erase this from here. They might have made... Oh, no, they did... Okay, okay, great, great, great. Nice so these night. are fun because they're timed. Like, you have to get here before it disappears. And then they do... When it's the X, it's like... There's an X in two spots of the level. And when you erase it, it pops out on the other X. And when you erase the other one, the next coin pops out at the original X. And it's like you have to get there before they uh, disappear. Okay. I think here, I think this is a great example of the camera not being great, where it's like you have one inch that you can see, and that's it. I don't have a great plan on getting back out of here when I erase this part. So I don't know if when it- Can you wall to, jump back and forth, or is it too wide? I think it's too wide. Oh, no, it's not too wide. Okay, okay, oh, nice. okay. All right, let's stay calm. <laughs> Focus. Oh, God. See, look at this. What is going on here? Okay, still got it. Still nice. got it. Nicely done. I have no clue why they have you save after that. They, after every blue coin, because the blue coins are a rarity, they do the save and continue, save and quit. Which I do think... <laughs> the option to quit after getting any blue coin. <laughs> yeah, I do think, um, you know, again, many things could have been done to this game just to, like, tweak it, modernize it a bit. Nothing was done to this game because it's a Nintendo game, so I'm just yeah, glad I can just play it. Yeah, they just made it a time-limited... <laughs> Yeah. Exclusive. Oh yeah. You can't even play it anymore. It's, that's not even true anymore. <laughs> I hope you bought it already, because you can't buy this. Um. Oh yeah, it might be. It might be played for it. Save and continue, or save and not not save and continue. <laughs> save and continue, or just continue. Yeah. I, I I say there should be no menu at all. I've never seen that in my <laughs> life. <laughs> you should probably just pick up the coin, and yeah, that's yeah. fine. <laughs> No, <laughs> it's getting all slippery. I'm like missing one every time. Yeah, that's. Oh, there we go. There, us. there we go. The Bamba Dude Baka says they launched GameCube and immediately made a Mario and a Zelda game based on water. Yeah, what was up with that? They're like, this is where the world's going. You know, they're like it's only a matter of time before it's just underwater. So we're yeah, just gonna be ahead of the curve. Rising. 
<laughs> we want to teach kids how to get around. <laughs> well, let me just head up because it's just going to keep getting bombed over here anyway. Let's see, yeah, and ZR. Okay, ZR is the one where I can run, so. Oh. Hitman chances, I think Nintendo might have been weird about saving to the memory card without input from the player. So yeah. the fact that it wanted to save your progress, it needed your permission on. Yeah, I think I think it really is like an of the era thing where saving mattered so much more in video games and was so much more like player yeah. dependent. Okay, so here I'm just gonna see if I can just make it over here. Alright, great. Great! Oh, These God. do look delicious. Right? Whatever's rolling at you. I wonder if they'll have them at uh, at Nintendo World when we go. Ooh. Thanks to uh, y'all uh, helping us set our Patreon goal. That's right. For Nintendo World. It's like, have you ever wanted to stand in line for a long time at the Mushroom Kingdom? Now you can. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a working flood I can use there? I wish. Um, again, I don't think Sunshine has nearly the nostalgia that uh, a lot of the other Mario games do. And this is cool because you can Stain refill your pack power. at this little sprinkler thing. Okay, let's see. And look, he gets all, he's all big. Then he explodes. This is a great game. Look at how tall this grass is. You don't get that anywhere else, but Super Mario Sunshine. Oh, so you can hide from enemies. No, they, they still see you. Stealth sections. <laughs> oh. You can see every blade of grass that's out. Exactly. With the power of the GameCube, yeah. Yep. <laughs> it, just, it barely looks like grass at all. So big and spread out. All right, now I'm back at the beginning. Glad I'm not too late. Sunshine is super good. Happy to help. Oh, yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> Great. Super Nintendo World has Toadstool Cheesy Garlic Knots, and they look pretty good. Yeah, we'll definitely be getting some food there. I don't think we'll do Toad's Cafe, unfortunately, because I hear the wait is, like, ridiculous. And that the okay, food no. is just not that good. But <laughs> at some point, maybe. God, we're going right before E3, too. Do you think that's going to be a really hot time? Because people will be in front of town? Um, God, we're not the only people who have thought of that, huh? It's going to be a busy day. I think it will be, but I, I wonder, like, I don't think it'll be, like, why it's really busy, you know what I mean? Like, I don't think that'll be the number one reason that it's super sure. packed or anything. It'll be a beautiful day in the, the The 10 nerds from out of town, you know? Like, I think that's the least of our problems. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to because, like, I'm gonna look into it. I think Sarah's already looking into it because she said she's she's ready to go full mom mode. That's, like, Sarah's default when we have these, um, yeah. these community outings. Nice. We're talking about buying the early pass? Yeah, you kind of have to get like that stuff for it. It's usually like way more optional, but like I hear that it's like impossible to like go with, like without it. And then they have like all these restrictions where like some of the passes that get you like priority, they're like, oh, but not for Mario Kart. Cause you know, it's like the hottest ride right now. So it's right. fine. We'll figure it out. Sarah's gonna have his pa Yeah, Sarah's gonna be like, we have food at home. <laughs> <laughs> Leo's like, I'm thirsty now. She's like, $7 for a soda? I brought a water bottle. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm kind of unsettled seeing the piranha pant plants underwear. Yeah, so you do perceive this as underwear then, yes? Oh, shoot. I do there perceive it that way. I do see it that way as well. I, I think that's the intention. <laughs> which has... Well, they've succeeded. Okay, okay, okay. Shoot. I missed my chance. Cozy Keegan, thanks for the sub. Super Mario Sunshine is my favorite Mario game. So there you go. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it. Don't hit me, don't hit me! <laughs> I am a little sad that I'm not a little better at this game. I mean, I'm not bad by any means, but it's not as uh, smooth going as I hoped it would be. Let me try to get some of this cleared up here. Okay, okay. Maybe, you know what part of it might be, in a sense? Because you have, like, the stick and the aiming, it kind of has, like, this odd shooter component to it, which has never really been uh, my strong suit, I don't think. Okay, hold on. Let's loop around here. Uh, we're pretty...
pretty finally. much finally. almost unanimously yes in the Twitch poll for is this the Piranha Plant's underwear. <laughs> Thank you for asking. person chat says Nightmare says it's a diaper, I think. Okay. We got him, but the I also am losing health, so let me try it's to get It's the same some pattern as the head, though, which makes me think it's like dermal. Yeah, I don't. Underwear. I don't know. Evolutionary. Okay. Okay. Now we're in. A, now we're in a roll here. <laughs> it's like yeah, I, I know how to play this. Hold on. Wait. 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 There we go. There we go. Okay. Cool. Ew. We're doing okay. Now this is giving body horror to me. <laughs> uh, it's a, it, there's a lot here. There's a lot here to be afraid of. <laughs> Thank you. Yay! We did it. Oh, we, we did, did it. it. Look nice at him job. go. Look at him go. See, that's cool. I don't know. Is there a use case for it? Not really. But why wouldn't I be doing that all the time if I could? Ground pounding on an Audi belly button is pretty grotesque, but <laughs> that gains points <laughs> in my head for this. I love the shines too. The design is so fun. Okay, so now, finally, the Mythbuster. It's save and continue, <laughs> save and quit, or continue. So really, whatever you want to do, you can do it straight from this mandatory menu. Wow. That's a thrill. Hey, I remember Super KG. Getting, a, sub. getting a GameCube, renting a GameCube, and just having to start a game from scratch every time because we didn't rent a memory card. So I never played yeah. Simpsons Road Rage. Started from the start. There's a new area open, but I think this might be... I'm seeing if this is the shine that's the... without the backpack. Yeah, let's do this one because it's super hard. And if you haven't seen these levels, they are a sight to see. Bought a GameCube launch, but no memory card. And it's definitely, I feel like that era was rife with, you need so many more things than what you have, <laughs> which was upsetting. Cause I could barely get the thing that you had to get. So it's like, mm, I don't know if we have a, uh, have any more to, to offer here. Bonus things, yeah. Rich has the good point. You can't quit without saving from that menu. So it is limiting in that way. That's just pressing the power button on the console though. Or any, yeah, shooting your console. Okay, True. the secret cave's over here. Oh, I wish I could angle the camera more up because I forgot exactly how to get there. I think it's through these. Yeah, I think I can just get them, get here through this. Okay. All right. What is that? This thing, it's like an electric spike. <laughs> But is it a creature? It I like don't think so, because it doesn't have a face. Hmm. Alright, this was pretty quick. Are there creatures without faces? Do worms have faces? I guess not. They have mouths. Does a mouth make a face? I ask you. Um, I don't believe question. that there is, like, what you guys are asking, like, a, like an over-the-shoulder... The closest you'll get- see, this is that L, that L button again! <laughs> Wouldn't that be a great use case for L, though, instead of opening what is- this one's on purpose- <laughs> This mad. child's placemat? Map? <laughs> yes. Who's using this for navigational purposes? Yeah. <laughs> As you can see... <laughs> it may just want to show off its shape like a dolphin. Uh, for Y or X, Y makes me do this. I think this is like me trying to leap, but I'm not running. And then X is just changing the nozzles. You guys might still be right, but I haven't quite, um... Land there. So this is the iconic. These the iconic anti no flood levels, where um, right. Ma God, what's his name? Shadow Mario, I guess. Takes flood, and you have to do the hardest platforming of your life after not having to really platform fully because you have the jetpack. Interesting. So someone said I thought it was the Z button. Okay, well we're not on that console anymore, so that's not as helpful as you might think. Though oddly enough, there are Z buttons here, just not that one. All right, we'll see how this goes. Oh God, oh God, oh, okay. There you go. All right. I like the music. The music's very good. All right, so let's take a look at what's going on here. This isn't too bad, I don't think. 
do these ever like converge? Not fully. Let's go. Let's like try to play kind of safe here. Okay. Oh God! <sighs> I walked too far off. Too bad. I swear, I just like lightly touched that joystick. It was not that big a deal. Uh, Crowboy says, I don't know how to answer this poll. The yeah. poll being, are the no flood sections better or worse than the rest of the game? And it's perfectly evenly split. Yes. I think that's, I love these sections, but actually like doing them is pain because they're really hard. <laughs> right. And they're kind of, and because like I mentioned, I do think it's a valid criticism that this Mario game doesn't control quite as well as a lot of the other 3D ones. I do think some of the difficulty ends up feeling like it is the slipperiness, like right there where I kind of like, not not right there, but before when I died and kind of fell, I really did feel like I just kind of slid off and it wasn't as, um, you know, I think difficulty only really feels good when it feels fair. God, sure. okay, okay, here we go. Okay, we're almost there, but this is harder than it looks, this little star thing. Okay. All right, we landed the first one. Oh, it's so dizzying too. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can All grab right. this life also. Oh, no. oh, I want it, but oh no! <laughs> it's a trick. It's a trick. It's. <laughs> they got you. I they really shouldn't. You. I shouldn't have bothered. How many lives do I have left too? Because that's another thing you run into here, where you can get a game over here, and this is usually where I would get game overs. So I don't think we're gonna go All for right. the life. Oh, uh, we came up with 70% think the no flood sections are worse than the rest of the game. And there was no option for they're as good because I know you cowards would have picked that one. Good point, good point. Yeah, the hubris. Uh, that is what the, one of the biggest killers of platforming characters. That and doing an extra jump for safety purposes that ends in your demise. All right, here we go. 70 in chat said it was like, you know, it says something about the game that the best sections were when they take the flood away. So I think the fact that yes. the poll came in with uh, that these sections are not as fun as when you have the flood, I think that speaks well about the rest of the game. Mm, I don't know. Again, it's a very like flawed and funky time. <laughs> so I'm not sure if it's better or worse that there's like a little bit of that debate. I think this game has a lot of good ideas that aren't as well executed as you would expect from an IP with such prestige, is what I think. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh! No! Too bad. And I know there's better jumps I could do to get a little bit more air, but then I'm also worried about overshooting it. And again, I don't, I'm not really actually that good at executing specific moves. I just, yeah, Crowboy, if you had the long jump, I know, the long jump. Well, we have Flood, except for here. So that's the thing. Are the stars getting closer or farther apart of the rotation? I think they're the same distance. I think the difference with the rotation is just that the easiest would be like point to point and the points are thin. Okay, let's see. Well, I guess it doesn't have to quite be point to point, but like, I think you have to jump initially from a point. This one's actually not as bad as some of the other ones, but as it's the first one. Right. But I'm just trying not to, I just want to have finished it, damn it. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through this that part faster next time, just to save time. Oh, we got the game over. This wouldn't have happened if I had that uh, life that I wouldn't have needed if I had finished, um, but. It is what it is. Another thing that sucks about this part is they take you all the way back. Like, I'm not even in the level again. Like, I'm back in the plaza. Oh, yeah. Like, you gotta... Whatever you did to get there, you have to do again. Which normally isn't too much. But still, you know, it's something. Uh, I'm seeing in the chat that there's a a dive. Cozy Keegan says there's you can a dive. dive in the air without flood. Yeah. Um. It is... Actually, I do it at the beginning of this, usually. You run it, I think, press Y. Um, we don't need to see the preview. I know where this is. This is also, like, an area I've played pretty often, just because it's, since it's early in the game. Like, if I only play the beginning of the game, I'm still playing this section. Uh-huh. Can you dive in the air? Um, yeah. So, you can... Let me see. Yeah, you can do, like, that. Okay. That might come in handy. 
And then if you uh, take flood and like put some water, you can slide on the water. I like that. Yeah, it's cool. It's cute. Yes. Very unique, interesting. I always hesitate to agree that it's rushed. I know it did come out like pretty soon and that makes, but I don't think it necessarily means it's rushed. You know, I try not to comment I too much on the development processes. Sure, I have seen the word unpolished a few times yes. in the chat. That, that I definitely agree with. Um, which I don't know if that is because, you know, due to lack of time or just due to the fact sure. that they, it just wasn't, it just didn't hit as smoothly as it could have. Um, I think the lack of polish is a trade-off for, to me, the ambition of this project. And that's kind of what I like about it. Like it is so funky and different and interesting. But I do think they don't fully pull off what they're trying to do with this. Yeah, for me, Hitmonchan, it's, it's the slipperiness of the platforming. Um, there are times in this game where I feel like it's not me, it's the game. Um, not all the time. Like in this area, I don't think I've died here. I think for like this section, I feel like I've only died once for kind of like cheap reasons. Everything else did feel like it was me. But I don't ever feel that in any other Mario game. And that's why I feel like it's a little hmm. rough around the edges. I feel like that's always been my problem with Mario, but maybe I'm just more touchier about it, is the the sliding around that happens. Yeah, I could see that. I'm like so confused on where I should go. Let's just start doing stuff. Oh my God, that was scary. Stop doing stuff. Go that crazy. was scary. Because if you live too much in the fear, like these levels are exactly. so difficult, yeah. you're gonna have to do them like over you and over again. Up. See, we get a little slide there. Okay. Nice. Like, oh god, oh god, no. <laughs> <laughs> but you. The camera is bad. But this fear. was like, and again, this is like a, with platformers, especially because it's like my go-to genre growing up. I definitely am like a platformer old head. Like, when it comes to platformers, I am a 45-year-old person. Like, I'm like, this was the era, you know? Like, you had to, you just had, this is just how it was? <laughs> but it is bad. Um, and there's a reason that I think we've progressed a lot in the in the area of camera control and, and how that's sort of automated and streamlined and just done generally better, but yeah. Okay. Oh my god, that was so close. Oh, nice. Oh, and, uh. Okay. Whew, okay, we did it. We did that part. We're almost out. Oh, wow. <laughs> no! <laughs> what a graceful drop in. Sorry, I hit the. Minus went by accident. I was trying to hit capture. Oh. It was giving like a high dive, that perfect tight front flip into going mm -hmm. straight off. It's I so like frustrating that. too, because on my second attempt, I was already like, it, I was already done. I shouldn't yeah. have went for the thing. Like I could have, I could have ended it there. Okay. That now I, hurts. now I want it to, like I, I try, I kind of yeah. want to get it done. Cause I'm like, I just really need to yeah. practice that last part. Oh. And oh, then the song, cool. like, mocks you, you know? Right. Are Sunshine's controls too slippery? 77% say yes. Yeah. Um, I saw in the chat said it's from the water, which I think is part of it. <laughs> that makes sense. It's part of the vision. Can you show up the next level? Like, next level generally? Um, yeah, I'd like to. Uh, we've been live yeah, for, like, 50 minutes. So I think, um, I would like to, I would like to do this, but I don't, I don't know. I think we'll be able to do it. Give me, give me a couple more minutes. This is the run. Yeah. And I know you can just kind of walk on these, but... Oh god, he's on like one pixel right here. <laughs> yeah, wow. Well. Cause that's the thing, like you can just like walk across these. Like I don't need to be... Oh, except for this one, I guess. I don't think it ever quite lines up all the way. Oh, that's so mean, it like barely doesn't line up. <laughs> oh, oh Mario's <laughs> doing too much. <laughs> Why? Okay. Chat believes in you. 
Thank you. These I kind of just walk through. It's this damn thing. Yeah. <laughs> Making them stars <sighs> is just evil. Okay. Why we've, do they have to be pointy? We've gotten here a lot. So. Are those moving farther away? <gasps> okay. Ooh. Okay. Let's grab. Okay. Woo, we did it. There we it did is. it. There we did go. it. There and then go. even getting it, they put it on like the slanted round too. We could just slide off of it. <laughs> to mess with you. Oh man. But it's fun to get through it to do it. You know, it's it's like this weird push and pull, right? Like they have these little spots. I still have fun doing those. Like I really like those levels, but they are really yeah. hard. And they are a little bit petty in their design. Because like I think be probably in part because Mario is a little bit more slippery in this game and I think generally 3D Mario is less about precision. Normally when you see precision platformers they're 2D. Um I think part of that is because it makes it's easier easier quote unquote to make like tighter controls I think for a 2D setting like things like Super Meat Boy, Celeste. Um the rare exception is like Crash Bandicoot has really hard platforming and is 3D. But also I think a lot of those games are not that great for that reason, except for the one they just made for. Sure. Yeah, there's also depth perception problems in a 3D platform. Yeah, so I think to me, the design with these harder levels, part of the reasons they have petty stuff like the stars and the like, all this other stuff is because they can't make intense precision because it would be too, fr yeah, that would be too frustrating. So they have to create the difficulty through the design. Which, you know, is right. not like necessarily an excuse for certain aspects of it, but that is, I think, why you see so many like petty little parts because that's the way they can put the difficulty and that still feels manageable um okay let's see uh that that left bumper <laughs> an hour in i'm still pressing left bumper okay hold on this doesn't do anything <laughs> he's gotta have his mouth open there he goes at a certain point it is the game's fault if you keep <laughs> if there's something really should be on a certain button yay See, he's so whimsical. Oh, he's not dead yet. Hold on. Hold on. These don't feel like they need to be as long. You're yeah. probably right. <laughs> You're not wrong. Gosh. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Power wash sim- uh, Yeah, I'm Nintendo rarely does like that kind of stuff, but Power Wash Simulator DLC of Sunshine would be perfect. That would be so cool. Let me go into this house real quick. Oh yeah, I forgot about these guys. Check it out. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know if I have enough to buy anything from them. For that. Yeah, 10 blue coins. How many do I have? Four? Oh my God. I'm so sorry, y'all. This has been amateur out here. I only have four blue coins. Okay, here we go. Maybe you haven't saved them all. I do find it funny that, um, you know, narratively, these shines are the core of how they sustain life, and someone's like, I'm just selling them for 10 blue coins, even though we really need these. <laughs> but doesn't that say everything about society, you know? Yeah. Art imitates life. Those blue coins. Rico Harbor. No one needs all these blue coins. That's what they're like. I earn them, all right, by exploiting others. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I love this area. It's another place of pain, I think. <laughs> sure. Beca because it's so, like, I think even just from glancing at it now, it's so trapeze -y. The amount of times I've fallen 80 feet has been a lot, you know? Yeah, and I, do you swim or do you die and get reset? You, you, you can, you, you swim. You swim. You only That's... take fall damage if you land, like, on the ground, I think. I think. That seems almost worse for something like this, where then you have to manually get back to yep. where you were. Right, we got these guys. Brady says the Yoshi shine on this one is brutal. Ooh, I don't fully remember that one. I really remember the, um, the surfing one. Uh, the cage one, and the one that we are gonna do that'll probably be our, our ending, because it's just like a few feet away. I'm really just in this cage for fun, because I don't really need to be here for this. Cool. 
but it's cool to see the, um, you know, the implementation of the cage that we're so used to seeing. Okay, hold on. Oh, do I have to, do I have to press B when I am holding? Okay, let's see. Hold on. Uh, in the chat, anything extra good or extra bad about this game we haven't discussed yet? Let us know before we weigh in. Any of your favorite things, any of your least favorite things? People have been loving the soundtrack. Let me just get down here. Let me go up this way. Oh, I think I do need to go a little bit on the structure to get up there, though. I will say they could have made this a spot that you can grapple on, and that would have been totally fine <laughs> by me. The leg a little bit shorter. <laughs> yeah. Like, come on, we all know how tall Mario is, or isn't. You didn't need to do it, do it this way. There we go. Okay, so I think I do have to kind of go a little bit on this structure to get there. Because he's so small. Sean no, and Ader okay. some good, interesting levels later. Definitely remember the Manta Ray Hotel level. Nice. Yeah, there's some really fun stuff in here. Sand Shrewd says Delfino Plaza gets brighter the more shines you get, which is fun. Yeah. Makes you feel like you're actually helping. You're in the community. Court mandated community service, but you're there. You're doing it. Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think I know how to get over there. Just gonna wait. The end Spike boss says is really end bad. boss is really bad. Yeah, do you remember that? Oh, I honestly don't. But I do think the bosses are pretty anticlimactic in this game. Like, you know, Peter Piranha and everybody else. Like, it's just kind of like uh, they're not the best. Um, it's no, it's no fighting a dragon, you know. Sure. Okay, here we go. And then we can switch. Okay, here we go. It's all coming back. I need to put this up a little bit higher. Kerboy asked if there are any other games lined up for when this wins next week's poll. No, what other games would fit this bill? Somebody said Sunset Overdrive earlier. Oh, no. That's, uh, so, so to me... Oh, jeez. Hold on. Just kidding. I gotta keep <laughs> using this to lock <laughs> it in. Does it not lock? I guess I just have to go really quickly. Really quick? Yeah. All right. Let me get to the other side. And then... You're gonna say Sunset Overdrive is too good? Yeah. To me, it has to be... And it's not even... To me, it's not even necessarily our personal opinion. Because for me, I think this game is at least good i don't think yeah. it might not be great but i think it's good um for me it's a game that when you talk about like is it a good game or not it's very much a 50 50 split conversation you know mm. while there are yeah, people never... that you know don't like super mario 64 because the camera is rough like i don't think that's really holistically a 50 50 split conversation most people would say that game is good um jeff what were you gonna say i was gonna say i don't think i've ever heard anyone say anything bad about sunset Overdrive. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's always like seemed to like be like this critical darling. Yeah. Um, we were talking before, and uh, Bioshock Infinite came up as one. Oh yeah, that's good. I think um, from what I've heard, because I haven't played either of these games, Mass Effect Andromeda could be a contender. I think Death Stranding is a perfect. Is this game good game? Oh yeah. Um, I'm seeing DMC, Arkham Origins. Maybe Kingdom Hearts Spun Three. Bob, Battle for Bikini Bottom, Gravity Rush. SpongeBob's pretty split. I don't see the thing is actually. Well, I think Spyro. I w I would debate that. I don't feel like the conversation. Like, is the cold? Are the streets debating it? That's the thing. <laughs> Which I can't walk outside without hearing people <laughs> yeah. debating Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> this is one of my favorite bosses, though. I think in a, a Mario game. I just like how you have to pull the little pieces off. And it's so gross when you pull them off because they like wiggle around. Oh, hold on, he has hands. Give me a second. Give me a second. I think I can just grab him. Yeah, ugh, so uh, nasty. Uh, it's like the nastiest animation ever. It's so funny, it's so cool and gross. Look at it. I'm surprised how much gross stuff is in this. Ugh. It's pretty tight. And then you can get him to like put his hands forward already. Ooh, shoot, I dropped it by accident though. Or you can just kind of chase him around. Ooh, I keep letting go too early. You just grab it with a Y. Flood tells you if you don't figure it out fast enough. 
Is this creature even aggressive? <laughs> or are you just torturing I, okay. it? So, I think... More wise, he was inside the shipping containers, and one of the issues playing in the community, if you're listening to like the news broadcasts, is that they've n not been able to import fruit anymore. So I think he's like a disturbing the shipping cargo sequence. I know what you think. This must be over. No, it's you got two more times. It's kind of weird. Can't rehound him or something? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> You've gotten up to him at this point that this him striking you now is like, yeah, of course, any creature would try <laughs> yeah. to preserve its own life. That's just the limbs are being ripped off. No, oh, I can't get up. Let me get up. It's the the music is telling me it's a boss, but nothing else is. It's just you're brutally <laughs> <laughs> tearing this creature apart. Um, after a certain point, I do get confused on what is the ecological message that we're supposed to get from this game. Yeah. This is what Mother Nature needs you to do. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to save your- Oh, it's only two times, maybe. I think he made all the ink- I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. But, you know what? Y'all are supposed to be on my side, I'm the protagonist, it's my story, okay? <laughs> Destroying creatures <laughs> to save the earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we disrupted his natural habitat. See, and the sunshine's like filling the plaza now. It's like a little bit brighter on that, that area. Rich says Leo wasn't bothered by Spore, but this is a murder too far. You know, that's just nature. That's just how it is out there. I hate his... Yeah hair when he doesn't have his hat on so at the bottom the debs is like the news debs alert according to new information the lighthouse on the eastern coast has disappeared investigation what new from okay investigations are now underway <laughs> according to new information like the fact that it's not there anymore <laughs> so good um but yeah, this has been Super Mario Sunshine. So did we- Wait, yeah, let's figure it out if it's good. Did chat say, is it good? Like, uh, should we do a final, is it good poll? I'll do a final poll. Uh, also, General Jackass says, what about Hitman Absolution? That's a great suggestion. That's a very, people are very split on that. Um, well, that poll's running too. Let us know in the chat what games you want to see for is it good, that you think have that split conversation. And where do mm. we vote on it? From everything I've seen today, it seems like perhaps the most interesting Mario game. It's a lot of cool right? stuff going on. It's fun. Seems good to me. <laughs> yeah, I I certainly like it. I would be a little concerned about just the you know aiming mechanics for the water, but otherwise everything else seems great. Aside from torturing that poor animal there, but hopefully that doesn't happen too <laughs> but often. But even, even then, it's like I've always felt like Mario had this darkness in him, and for them to be yeah. kind of honest I mean, about he's that been, is, a, is a plus. Yeah, he's been stomping on turtles since since day one. Yep. Right. So. Also, apparently, I was clicking the right stick to zoom, maybe, somebody said in chat? Oh, let's see. Which yeah! Which would help with the aiming? Okay. Oh, oh man, this go. would have made a lot of things way easier. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Classic. But, well, the thing is, though, you are locked in here, so then you have to, like, go out to move out. But, yeah, I should have been doing this the whole time. Um, I'm sorry. I forget the <laughs> Switch Joy-Con sticks can click in. You can have these little... You got these little fruits. I think you can... Maybe you can pick this one up. But... Yeah, the like bowls are in. 83% yes, it is good. Well, there, there you, you go. go. There we go. The I conversation. Mean, I'm, glad I can, I'm glad I can never play this because they stopped selling it. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that's, that's ridiculous. But that is. You can emulate it. In Nintendo, yeah. Glorious 60 frames per second. And you know what? You'll still go to heaven. So that's a little tip <laughs> there for, you go. for people today. Great. Thanks, thanks, Leo. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching the first episode of Is It Good? Our Backstage Pass patrons on Patreon voted to make this show happen, and they'll be voting next week to see if it continues or if we start a brand new show here on New Show Plus. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. See ya. Yay! Every week, we let Patreon supporters choose which new show we create with New Show Plus. 
Should we create another episode of the show you just watched? Check out the biggest new game release? Get into Sea of Thieves? Create an exercise show? It is your call. So thanks to everybody who subscribes on YouTube or supports us over on Patreon. MinMax exists because of you. As always, if you enjoy MinMax content, any help telling a friend is appreciated.